Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum for the Sony PlayStation 2. Now this was a game that showed up in the Christmas special for 2021, and people have been very excited to see this game finally happen. Considering I haven't really played a Yu-Gi-Oh! game on YouTube since uh, Nightmare Troubadour for the DS, so this is an interesting spin-off game. It's more of a tactical RPG style. And I've only played like maybe one battle. And then I just stopped playing. Because I was busy with other stuff. Which is usually the norm that I have that kind of excuse. But since people actually wanted to see it done, and I did pick it in the Christmas special, I no longer have an excuse, so now we can actually play it. So, let's get started, shall we? Uh, let's see what's in options. Uh, everything is good as is. Yep, it actually does have the voice acting from the anime. I don't think this is the same memory card that I had in my first save file, so... Doesn't matter. Welcome to Capsule Monster Coliseum! Exclamation point. You're just in time for the big tournament! Capsule Monster Battle Tournament! Yugimoto and his alter ego, who had been trapped in the Millennium Puzzle. Will use their wits and monster capabilities to defeat all their opponents. As they fight for the title bestowed on only the best Capsule Monster Coliseum fighter. King of Capsule Monsters. Alright, so we're going to get a bit of a lengthy tutorial because there are some things you will need to know outside of just moving units and attacking. We'll just go to a floating island, it's no big deal. Alright, enter name. I will do that. I know that your name actually did matter to some extent and I think Duelist of the Roses. I don't know if it matters much here. So I'll just put Bonga. Alright, for a quick start, play with the preset settings by selecting Purchase Starter Kit. Select Build Custom to create your own original arrangement. Let's go build a custom one. What will I need to know? The symbol's attribute affects all of your monsters. Select an attribute that will give your monsters an advantage in battle. Okay. So you can get Dark, you can get Fire, Water... Earth, Wind, Wood, Thunder, and Light. So those are pretty much all the uh, attributes, and they will have advantages and disadvantages against each other. More on that later. I think I'm gonna go with Dark. My symbol, like, like go with Dark Fiend, Horn, Fairy, Ring, Palace, Wing, Tower, Needle. I do like Fiend, so I'm gonna go with Dark Fiend. And I could go with a color. I do like cyan. I'm not gonna go with like min maxing by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just going with what I personally like. 
You must assign all the points, so I have 200 points to work with. AP is actually very good, because that's your action points. So I'm going to put plenty of points in that. I'll say 140 for now. MP, I'm guessing, is like magic ability? I don't know. It'll probably go into more details as to what they are later on. I'll have my PP at 200. That sounds kind of weird. Maybe that's like hit points or something for your... For your crystal? Because that's actually a key thing to have. If your crystal is destroyed, you automatically lose. And I think I'll pump the rest into AP. Once your game starts, you can't change the symbol settings. Alright, well, let's live with it. <laughs> Grandpa! Ah, I thought you would come, Yugi. What are you doing? I knew you wouldn't have prepared anything. You're always so impatient. I brought monsters that you can use in the tournament. That's my grandpa. Hold your horses. I never said I was giving you these for free. I'll exchange them for monster points. Monster points? You can earn monster points by winning during the tournament. Keep winning to get more and more. Oh, so that's what MP says for. That was that was my bad. But I haven't battled even once yet. But didn't you just create a symbol that gave you monster points? Use those to start with. Let me give you some tips. Monsters can be separated into light, dark, fire, water, earth, wood, wind, and thunder. In other words, each monster has a different attribute. And each attribute has a different advantage and disadvantage. I don't like that only the mouth moves when they're talking. I'll explain what they are, but... If you don't think you can remember them, I suggest you take notes. Are you ready? Here they are. Light is strong against dark, and dark is strong against earth. That's usually one you don't really think of right away. Because if you play like Dark Duel Stories and Sacred Cards with Shift Destruction, like they had their own attribute wheel. So this is like a little different. So Light beats Dark, Dark beats Earth, and I think Earth beats Thunder, and Thunder beats Light. That's one uh, cycle they got. Fire is strong against wood, and water is strong against fire. Earth is strong against thunder, and wood is strong against wind. Wind is strong against water, and thunder is strong against light. That's it. If you remember these relationships, it will increase your chances for victory. Alright, so just to keep it in perspective, light beats dark, dark beats earth, earth beats thunder, thunder beats light. And on your other cycle, fire beats wood, wood beats wind, wind beats water, water beats fire. If you can memorize it as like two cycles, it'll get a little bit easier to remember. So only having monsters of a single attribute is dangerous. That's my grandson. You learn quickly. Well, it depends on if your opponent also only has one attribute, too. However, you should always take your opponent's attribute into account. That's another important point to remember. Well, the rest is up to you. I understand. Can you show me the monsters? Alright, buy a monster. I can get at least ten. Okay, so I have 442 MP. Huh, I could just get, like, one of the pieces of Exodia right now. Well, since I have, like, a dark crystal... Oh, I could press select to look at the attribute chart again if I want to. 
Okay, detail status. Capsule rank C. So it has 80 PP, defense of 5. That's when it's in the capsule, I think. And then when it comes out, I guess PP is like your power points, like your health. And AP, of course, your action points is how much, like, it would need to move, I guess. No, your attack points are there in the corner. I see that. 141, and brackets 117. And defense of 26. Okay. It's a lot of numbers to figure out, but as you have more duels, it'll make more sense. So I'm gonna get a Feral Imp. Oh, I can select more than one right away. I guess I should do that. Let's see here. Let's get a white dolphin. And maybe our root water as well. And maybe a Karama. Uh, Kaminari Kazo, a Karibo, and a Skalengal, and I got 38 more points to spend. What should I get with my remaining 38 points? I guess it wouldn't hurt to get one more Karibo, maybe? Or maybe I should go with the Psychic Kappa. You have to keep buying monsters until you have at least 10. Oh, really? So that means I gotta buy something cheaper. Oh, no. So not getting too much in MP kind of burned me. Okay, so I guess I'm not gonna get the root water anymore. Or the Karama. I can get the Droll Bird. And I guess I'll have to get a Petite Moth. Uh, another Karibo. And what can I get with 23 more points? I don't think I can get anything. Let's take off Kaminari Kazo. Still get the Steel Scorpion. And last but not least. I don't have a Haniwa, so let's get a Haniwa. As I have more duels, I'll get more MP and then I can get better stuff. Maybe I should have like put more MP out there to start. That way I could have had like uh better choices, but. We're only in Area 1. What happens if I go back to Entrance Hall? Is this like the tutorial again? Oh, this is where you go to manage your monsters and like save your data and all that stuff. Return to title screen. I don't want to return to title screen. In fact, I don't really need to manage anything. Should I manage something? I mean, I only got like 10 monsters. Then again, if I jump right into battle, I could probably choose my monsters anyway. Let's go to Area 1. Alright, so here's our first opponent, Joey Wheeler. He mostly specializes in fire, so uh, if I got water monsters, they're pretty much Kino. In ancient city forgotten long ago, however, there is still a plentiful water supply. Many of the landforms are advantageous for water attribute monsters. So I'm guessing Verify is just to look at the field? Is that what it is? Just gotta wait for it to finish loading. Okay, yeah, uh, you can just look at it that way. Okay, I can use the triggers to rotate the camera. And triangle to zoom out. Triangle again to zoom it like that. 
For Square to look at the actual terrain piece. And it circled it back out. Okay. Just getting my sea legs back, that's all. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, the good news is, I thought there was permadeath in this game. There isn't. If a monster is defeated, you can't use it in the next battle, but the battle after that, you can use it again. So, keep that in mind. And you can level up your monsters, too. So, there you go. It's not too intimidating. Even though there's a little bit of a learning curve. Hiya, you. I've been waiting for you. Joy! The one and only. And don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you just because you're my friend. I'm not holding anything back. Then let's get started, Joy! Select a card. One! Huh. Wow. It's just like my Mario Party days. Oh, I will attack first. I see how it is. Alright, he's gonna start laying some capsules down. They seem to be all fire element. I'm gonna start laying mine down too. Okay. I'll select my monsters to play with. Wait a sec. What's wrong, Yugi? There's a limit on which monsters you can use, which is determined by monster points. You mean the points I paid in order to get monsters? Yeah. Each stage has a set limit of monster points. And the total monster points of the monsters you use cannot exceed the limit. I see. That means if the monster point limit of the stage is 100, then I can use 10 monsters that are 10 monster points each. Or I can only use 5 monsters if they are 20 monster points each. Yes, that's how math works. That's right. So you have to think carefully about the balance of which monsters to use. Okay. Thanks, Yugi. Select monsters? Okay, well... To start things off, we know he uses fire types, so water will be good. In fact, two water types would be good. And if you're dealing with, uh, fire, do not use wood. Use the Droll Bird. I think Feral Imp. And I should have room for one more. I would like to get as many in as I can. I think five is enough. Select a spot to place her symbol. I think over here is fine. Um, let's go with random placement. Yes. All right, so Joey did want me to go first, so that's what we're going to do. It's time to start. Hey, in order to move your pieces, you need AP. I see. Each piece has a set requirement of AP. And if I move it, then the AP on the screen decreases, correct? Yep. And if you don't have enough AP, then you can't move your pieces anymore. So I have to be careful about the amount of AP when thinking about how <laughs> to move my pieces. I like how it cuts off right there. Uh-huh. But first, you can't move anything if you don't summon monsters from your capsules. 
So you have to choose which monsters to summon. You're right. Okay. Okay. Karibo, no. White Dolphin, yes. Let's take a look at the capability. Okay, that's it. Oh, and it tells you the advantage and disadvantage. So, it says AP of 54. So let's summon it right now. It can't move yet, so... Uh, we'll summon the Droll Bird. And I think we'll summon Feral Imp. Uh, I think we'll end our turn right now. We'll keep the other two on standby. Here I come, you. See, he doesn't have as much AP, so he can only summon two of them. Your defenses. Hey, right now you saw the AP increase, right? What? Yes, you are correct. Where it says AP on the screen, there's a number with a plus sign next to it. Yes. This number must be the amount of AP that increases on my turn. Yeah, and if you summon a monster, it'll increase. That means either I move a summoned monster. Or I summon so that I can move more pieces. That's something I need to think about. It's important to make a decision based on the situation. Well, in that case, we'll just summon all these now. I mean, I might as well, right? I'm going to zoom these out a little bit more. Alright, so my White Dolphin can move at most three spaces, but in cardinal directions only. And it can only attack, like, one space next to it in a cardinal direction. Okay, so Joey's pieces are right there. Put that one over here. Joel Bird can move up to four spaces in a cardinal direction. And Feral Imp can only move two spaces in a cardinal direction, but can attack anywhere around him. That's all for now. You're gonna bring out the rest of your Fire Reapers? Alright, you go do that. I think I got everyone already out, do I? Yes. Just, like, advance a little bit gingerly. I can have White Dolphin over here. Its ability decreased. That terrain is not good for your piece's attribute. If the terrain is unfavorable, then its ability decreases. But if the terrain is favorable, then the ability increases. Yes, that's how it works! Yeah! You can check by looking at your piece's ability. I see. Then, I should be on the same terrain as my attribute as much as possible. It changes depending on the situation, but it's worth remembering. Okay, so this is like a earth formation right here. 
Solia has like good advantage for like light, dark, and wind. Not so much for water, of course. Alright, Karibo can actually move diagonally, which is pretty cool. Hasn't done anything yet. Waiting for them to get a little bit closer. So we can start getting the jump on them. So because the water went up, my water pieces should have a greater advantage. I should get them on that terrain. Hang on. Don't move yet. Let's take a look at the Fire Reapers. They can only move in kernel directions too. But if it moves over there, it can attack if I go on this spot. So I'll put myself right here, for now. I can also have an edge if I go this way, too. Okay, so far so good. Um, over here. Your move. Again, this is the tutorial, so of course it's gonna get easier. I'd say later on, we'll definitely be dealing with, you know, much more annoying enemy arrangements. Oh, I can make an attack on that Fire Reaper from here. I should do that. Anything that's on an orange tile, I can attack. So I can probably do... let's see, it's got 10 defense points. So it'll bring it down to like 127, you know, let's go for it. And you can keep battle animations on, or off. So you get to see the monsters in 3D as well, which is pretty cool. Nice, 127 damage. Ah, this sucks big time. All right, so that means my other monsters should be able to attack. Oh, I can only move two spaces. I was thinking you had like at most two spaces. Yeah, I gotta, let's look at that again. Yeah, I can see with that loop there. Or like that black dot, it tells you no. You can't. You can't do it as well as you would like. So that means I have to put White Dolphin here. To finish the job. So if I go for the attack, it's gonna get destroyed.
Now, of course, you can win by going after the crystal right away. Or just go and defeat the monsters. Get out of here. I wouldn't expect anything less, Hugh. Good. Now let's look at those details again. Okay, it can move up to two spaces. Say if it goes here, it can attack the Psychic Kappa. So I can go ahead and do this. Don't go over here, then I'll just get surrounded. There we go. Let's put Joel Bird here. So, I don't have to worry about being attacked unless... Okay, can't go over here. I don't think I can go over there either. That is terrain over here you cannot move to. So, I think I should be okay. One, two... Go over here. Attack over here. Let's put Karibo over here. All right, let's see what you got. You're down one monster, Joey. Joey, Jo, Jo, Joser, Josephertin thing. Yep, that's the Yugi I know, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna surrender. Good. You were never the kind to just give up. You were mostly the kind to just rely on luck. I think the water's gonna go up again. Well, that's irritating. Some of my pieces are just floating in the water. I'll use all my skills until the very end of the duel. Okay. Doesn't say anything about the terrain. Okay, it's water, of course. Provides a small edge to like dark, light, and wind. Okay, well, at least I'm covered there. I don't have an attack on this one. That's a damn shame. I seriously don't have a move for this. I could put Psychic Kappa over here. But I risk getting attacked multiple times. But I could probably do a lot with this, so... 158 damage is nothing to sneeze at. Look at them long legs! Man, you're not gonna let up. Not even a little bit, are you? To the surprise of nobody. Okay, if I go over here... Maybe I should put white... Wait. I could put Karibo over here to get an attack on one of the Fire Reapers. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can only move, but I don't really have an attack option. What about you? If he's thinking this long, ah, oh, no. He must have one major trick in. Yeah, shut up. I might just put it over here instead. And then I'll have more options for my next move. It can take a shot on my Psychic Kappa. In fact, all these can. Hmm, maybe I was better off having the White Dolphin there. So I think I'm just going to put Karibo over here and finish off this. I mean, if I go for the attack, it'll be destroyed, right? That's what it should say. Yeah. Oh, well, better have two attackers than three. Oh, look at Karibo go. Make it rain. Uh, okay. It's the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. I gotta make my move now or it's over. Uh, speaking of moves, my moves are done. So, are you gonna, like, both attack Karibo, or is it just going to be one of you attacking the Karibo? It's gonna do 152 damage. Win it quick and slick. That's my motto. Then let's get started, Joey. I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. Yeah, I knew it. Karibo's gonna get destroyed. So I can't use it on the next battle. But I do hear if you surrender on the next battle and then retry, Karibo comes back. So I'm okay taking that loss. In retrospect, I was better off just having White Dolphin out there. You're doing better than I thought, Joey. And there's more where that came from. I'm just getting warmed up, Yugi. It's all a learning curve. I don't mind. You're just putting that crystal back. I mean, it's not going to make a difference. You're only just keeping me from moving there. Oh, whoop-de-doo. Oh, they're positioned so I can't get a single attack with White Dolphin. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Ooh, I can send you over to this one. Hold on, if I do this... Oh, they're arranged so that I can't get in a single attack either. Like, I can move, but never attack.
That's irritating. So I only get... I only have the ability to attack one time. Well, I can stay over here and do some damage. Sadly, you can't do anything. I'll move you a little bit closer, though. I can't even stay there? Really? That's weird. Sure, we'll go after this one. This isn't looking good. I mean, I can't be surprised I don't exactly have the best opportunities to attack ever. Unless I get, like, better monsters. Yep, they're all gonna attack the Psychic Kappa. Watch. hurt as much because I have like attribute advantage so I can keep hanging on I got like those smiley faces that's menacing I think you also get more experience for destroying the crystal, too. So make of that as you will. If you ever want to employ a strategy for, like, leveling. Well, I can use White Dolphin to attack this one. So I will. Oosh. Man, you're not gonna let up. Not even a little bit, are you? You don't exactly have a target at all, do you? Of course not. Unless I move myself over this way. I gotta start moving Feral Imp over here, too. Actually, I don't have to move you anywhere. It's gonna get attacked anyway, but I might as well take someone with me. There you go. Adios, muchacho. I suppose it retains its experience, too, if I were to lose a monster. 
Like, it won't just reset at the bottom level. Oh, you're, you're just going for Feral Imp? An odd choice? I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. Well, the water's going up even more. No, it's going down. I thought it was just gonna go up even more, I'm like, oh my god, really? I'm just gonna get flooded. I'm gonna go for an attack right away. This will destroy it. This will finish you. I forgot to turn the animation back on for the troll bird. Ah, it's all over. Ah well, a win is a win is a win. Victory, the player. I lost, Yugi. But Joey, you fought valiantly. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Maybe that's why I don't feel that bad that I lost. Now you, don't you be losing any other duels, all right? Of course, I won't let you down. All right, that's our first victory. First of many, I hope. Okay, so you get 200 points, along with a special 21 points, for a total of 221. So that allows us to buy more capsules. Clear bonus experience received, nice. Sadly, it doesn't go to Karibo because it fainted. But that's how it goes, I guess. It even goes to the symbol, too, which is interesting. Now, it doesn't matter what one I take, because I end up... It's just a... Both of these are Fire Reapers. Hey, Yugi! What's wrong, Joey? There's something I forgot to tell you about this tournament. There are five opponents in each area. And if you don't beat them all, you can't move on. That means... I just defeated you, Joey, so I have to defeat four more opponents. Right. And if you clear four areas, a whole new path opens up. A new path? What's that? <laughs> like I know. Well, just keep winning. And maybe it'll all make sense later. So keep at it, buddy. Thanks, Joey. That's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, beat their butts. See you later. A new path. I don't know what the new path is, but we're traveling on our own road right now. No matter who we face on this road, we must win. And we'll do it together. Yeah! All right, so we'll save. Ah, uh, create new save data. Why the hell not? Hope I have enough room on this memory card. All right, so I can make more than one slot. That's neat, I guess. I don't think we'll ever find ourselves stuck. Game progress was slay slaved. Saved! <laughs> wow. Choking on my own words right there. I'm wondering if I have the option to duel Joey again if I want to. Otherwise, do I have to, like, keep moving forward and only face them one at a time? So that may not give me a lot of areas for, like, farming. Nope, you can't go back to Joey, it seems. So my next opponent is actually Tristan, who specializes in wood. 
would. Alright, so let's stop the video right here. And in the next episode, we will take on Tristan Taylor. See everyone, thanks for watching.